Right, I've ranked so many of these 24, 25 kits now, so, so many. But that means I know exactly what I do like and exactly what I don't like this season. So let's fix that. Yeah, it's that time where I use my limited Photoshop skills to try and attempt to fix some of these kits. I use the word try that, I mean, I tried to fix them. <laughs> I did this for the years in Copper America, and honestly, those videos took off. So thank you so much for the love on them. Massively appreciate it. I just love doing this. It's a lot of fun. I love design. I love football kits, of course. So putting it all together, I have a lot of fun. And a lot of fun making these kits. So let's jump into it, shall we? And we start, of course, with Barcelona's home. I've said a lot about this kit. And I just, I said a lot because I'm disappointed. I'm just disappointed. I'm not mad, I'm disappointed. Because this kit could have been so much better. It could have had a lot more to it. It's an anniversary kit. They're celebrating their anniversary this year, 125 years. And to do so, they wanted to use a half and half kit inspired by the very first ones used by Barcelona. And we actually saw this in 1999 when they had their 100th anniversary. They did something similar. And that kit is just infinitely better than the one they've brought out this year. This, just, this one just falls so flat. It's such a shame. So I thought, all right, how can I fix it? First thing I did was get rid of the logo so I could have a nice clean base to work with. I then drew on a more of a round neck color opposed to what's going on now. I just think what's going on now gets lost a little bit. It looks a bit strange. I think a round neck would look cleaner. I then centralized the badges. I thought I took influence from the 99 kit here because I think the centralized badges on that look really nice and they actually have the dates on either side. So I've done the same there as well. I've added the new dates. I just think it cleans it up a little bit. I mean, you know, the Barcelona's already centralised. I think the Nike should also be. I hate it when it's, like, floating up there on its own. I really, that really does annoy me. So this sharpens it up a little bit. I also did try and bring the Spotify logo back into it, but it just doesn't work, does it? So I scrapped it. I know you can't really do that in real life, but I've done it here anyway. This, this is my reality. But I just needed to change that colour. This is inspired by the very first Barcelona kit. We had that over-the-top polo colour. The 1991 had as well. I just needed it. So I used AI to do it here, which can be a little bit weird, but I managed to get a nice looking colour. And then I made it half and half to fit that half and half design on the front of the kit. That's kind of nice reference to the old one as well. And yeah, I just think this would have been a little bit better. This was more of a homage to that anniversary that they're looking for, that they were going for. Up next, we got another big letdown. Big letdown, this one. Como, Adidas, it was all looking great, wasn't it? Como, coming up to the Serie A, getting Adidas, who are doing amazing things right now. You're, I'm thinking, yeah, okay. And then they pulled this stinker out. This absolute stinky, stinky kit. It's just got those lines at the bottom of it. it makes no sense. So for me, I just cleaned it up by just getting rid of those lines. And there we have it. We're done. Next. No, joking, of course. I didn't just do that. I mean, to be fair, it does actually make the kit better. So I could have left it there. But I decided to add a water texture to it. Because obviously, those lines are supposed to be like water-themed, like old kits, but also Como on the lake makes sense so i used a nice water graphic in the base here to just elevate it a little bit and i think it did give it that little bit of a, a finer touch to it really nice water just subtle there in the base i'm really like this again another kit that i would have probably bought this if it looked like it right up next we've got roman's away shirt now the idea for this shirt was brilliant i loved it it was graffiti inspired by the tessasio region in rome which is like a very like edgy neighborhood and yeah i just loved the idea of that but the execution just fell flat it just looks this, this weird like paint splash on the front of it so to fix it i grabbed an adidas plain template here just so i could put my own design onto it initially i was going with a nice base terragotta pattern so like the pattern and the color of terragotta on the base i'm saying gotta instead of cutter Initially, I was going to make the base a nice terracotta colour and texture, so I put that into the base of it, added the logos on top of it, but then I was playing around with the colours and I accidentally inverted it and made like a black and white version, and I was like, hold on, this looks kind of nice, I like the black, so actually I decided to make the base black and the accents terracotta instead, and that kind of like pops through a little bit better, and the texture's still there if you zoom in, and then what I wanted to do was I wanted to keep the graffiti theme, of course, but obviously graffiti can just be so like tacky on the front of a kit so I wanted it to look like as if like there's splashes of spray paint or like you know when you you spray paint like the corner and it kind of like bursts out I was I was going for that kind of vibe so I, it's a bit like the badge to be fair the badge has that so I did it in the top right bottom left corner kind of tried to make it a nice grainy paint pattern that's come through in those corners and then that kind of gives this kit that graffiti vibe but it's a way way more subtle if you know what I mean and there we have it same idea same concept but just a different avenue with it and I really like this one right I hate to say it I hate to say it but that Chelsea kit 
it's growing on me. I didn't think I'd say it's growing on me. Maybe just because we had a good result on the weekend and that's just skewing completely how I feel. But no, this kit is still quite jarring, isn't it? It's still a lot. I think like the pattern and the badges, the bad I hate the badges still. I definitely wouldn't buy this kit. But I just do feel like there's there's a few things that could be better. So the first thing I did was tone down the base. I, I, the pattern's okay. I'm happy with it. It's like a smoke pattern. But it's just too jarring on the front, especially for something that looks quite realistic so i just put like a blue overlay on top of it to bring it down so it just basically trying to make it more subtle in the base and then i just put normal badges in i put the normal chelsea badge the normal night tick don't, don't want that bubbly you know iridescent thing i hate that i also added a sponsor because come on where the why the fuck does chelsea have a sponsor someone tell me like it's still i still don't understand it i'm a chelsea fan don't understand it i mean kits do look nicer without sponsors like look at the juve third but tangent i put a sponsor on this kit and what else sponsor would i put on other than cause, come on. Nice retro cause sponsor on there. Makes any kit look cooler, doesn't it? And then I just feel like it needed a little bit more. So, you know, down the, the side of the kit, I added a nice white and orange kind of accent, like a nice line accent, similar to the one found in the sleeves. And I was going to end it there, and I was actually going to leave it there, and I'm pretty happy with that. And I know they'd never do this, but I really wanted to just the Chelsea line on the front. You know how, like, the third kit has just the pink line? Why can't we just do that on the home shirt? A bit, bit like what Arsenal have done with just the gun, the, uh, the cannon. So I did that, I added that to the base. They'd never do it, but I'd absolutely love it. And if Chelsea brought out something like this, I would probably buy it. I, and I don't know if that says much, but there you have it. Liverpool up next, and this, this is a jarring kit, man. This kit is too much. And I think the biggest problem it's got is that collar. It's just, why does it cut off straight here? It's inspired by the 95 one where it kind of had a nice big V-neck and you just take that personality out of it. Doesn't make sense to me. So that's all I was attempting to do here. I attempted to draw that V-neck into it, which didn't really work. And I literally then took the 1995 V-neck and put it into the kit. And that's where I have, that's where I landed on this. And I know this isn't perfect. And that's why I left it in the video because I, I know it's so hard. Like designing kits isn't easy. I feel like these videos can be a bit like I'm shitting on like the design. And, and I am, I guess. <laughs> That is what I'm doing. But I'm just like, I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. Design is subjective as well. People's opinion to, yeah, just a little bit of, <laughs> just a little bit of thought in there. You know, I was making this one. I couldn't make it work. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? Design is pretty hard. <laughs> Next up, we got Frank Furtz, which is another retro letdown, this one. This kit's inspired by the late 80s third kit, which featured triangle patterns and stars inside of them. And the new one is just, oh God, it is just the triangle pattern with a star pattern in the base. It's just safe. It's lame. You've gone with this, you found this really cool retro kit that I'd never seen before. It's out there. It's design heavy. It's insane. And you've just took all the fun out of it. What's the point? What's the point? So for me, I got rid of the star at the bottom. I added the stars to the triangle. I also then added the stars into the sleeve as well because I thought, why not go all out with this one? I couldn't stop there. Whilst I was at it, I got rid of the sponsor and added Marlboro as the sponsor. Look, a little bit cheeky. A little bit cheeky, but it does look like the branded, doesn't it, with the triangle and the reds and stuff. So I thought it'd be cool. And it does look kind of cool on the base, in it? But don't smoke, kids. Don't smoke. But yeah, obviously the Marlboro is just a bit of a joke, but genuinely this kit is out there. It's a jarring, not a lot of people would like it, but you're staying true to that, that, you know, original. You're having a bit of fun with it. It's just a bit better in my opinion. And the final kit I'm fixing in this video is the Inter Milan away shirt. Now this fix could just be attributed to so many kits this season, so many. Chelsea's away, Atleti's home, Tottenham's third, and just so many more. It's the colour. Do I have to repeat myself? I sound like a broken record, don't I? I'm sorry if you've watched all these videos and you're like, well, this Don shut up about this colour, but it annoys me because why? Why is it this weird little foldy one? And you see it on the pitch, some of the players are wearing it and like it just doesn't look right because they're wearing it like it half folds and stuff. Oh. I won't, I'll, I'll never get over it. <laughs> but I thought I'd try and fix it on this Inter kit anyway because I feel like it's the biggest shame. This kit had the biggest potential with the colour and uh, you know the Skeleto badge in the middle. It looked really nice if it weren't for that colour, so I fixed it. I originally tried to just draw it on and that didn't work. And I, so I sat there like, how can I get a polar collar on this? I've used AI in the past. It looks dodgy. What am I thinking of here? And, you know, Nike not too long ago we're pulling out amazing polo colored kits and it just had epiphany it just came to me that roma third shirt from 2019 that's what i'm thinking of that's the most beautiful kit bring that back so basically i know it's cheeky because roma and milan you know they won't be happy with this but i just took the roma polo collar that nike made a few years ago 
put it onto this kit. Obviously, then made it the blue colours, tried to match it a little bit, brought the dragon back into it. Now, I know, of course, this mock-up looks a little bit, you know, janky, but imagine what this could look like. Imagine these colours, that vibe, that polo colour from that kit. It would have been unreal. So, yeah, that's it. That's me fixing some of the kits this season. I don't know why I'm doing that. So yeah, that's it. That's me fixing some of the kits from this 24-25 season. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like my fixes? Do you hate them? Let me know. Get your opinions in. Also, what other kits do you think could be fixed? Maybe I could do a part two if you guys really like this video. But that's it. I appreciate you watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'll see you next week.